Hi, I'm Aki, a minimalist who is a school teacher living in a small village in Japan. Today, I'd like to give you a mini room tour and introduce seven things in my room that make me happy. I hope you can learn something about minimal lifestyle from this video and refer to them in the future. So, let's get started! Oh, by the way, I wanted to mention that I've moved downstairs again because a new housemate is coming to this share house. In Japan, girls usually live on the second floor because it's said to be safer, so I sadly have to move. But I think this new room became nicer, so let's look around my new room together. First, wooden architecture. My favorite part of my room is its wooden design. One study found that wooden rooms create a less stressful environment compared to reinforced concrete rooms. Every day I feel at peace because of the smell and pattern of the wood used in this room. Actually, foresty is thriving in this village where I live. So, local cedar trees are used to construct the share houses, government offices, and the schools that are in the village. And also, trees from this village were used to help construct buildings for the Tokyo Olympics. The village cedar from this area is a little reddish compared to ordinary cedar, so it makes the room feel warmer. Second, tatami floor mat. Second, are these tatami floor mats. I think tatami is an indispensable part of a minimal life and Japanese culture. Because the tatami floor can be used for various purposes. First, it can be used as an interior decoration. You can also sit or lay down on it comfortably. If you want to do it, you can also use it for yoga and stretching. You can also practice the tea ceremony as well. The scent of rush, a type of grass on tatami floor, also has a relaxing effect. So just being in the room has a calming effect. This tatami floor may be hard to come by outside of Japan, but if you can get it, you should give it a try. I'm sure you'll like it. Third, plants. I have some plants in my room. There are three reasons I chose to decorate with plants. First, to have a nice and lively interior. Just having plants in the room will change the atmosphere within it. I put a maple tree in the corner, and eucalyptus trees here, and ibota trees from Japan on the desk. Since I'm lazy, I have chosen plants that are easy to maintain. I used to put a moss terrarium, but I accidentally dropped it, and it broke. But terrariums are also highly recommended. Secondly, I enjoy having something to take care of. Another reason to put plants in the room is that you can enjoy watching them grow. For example, this maple was just a bud in winter, but now its green leaves have finally grown like this. And recently, avocado seed has finally sprouted. Seeing these daily changes makes me feel a little brighter every day. Third, having plants in your room helps you feel relaxed. You can relax just by looking at the plants. Having ornamental plants in the room helps create a relaxing work environment, which increases concentration and memory retention. I live in the countryside, so it's full of plants when I look outside of my window, but I still feel more relaxed when there are plants in my room. Even today, I'm relaxing while watching the grown maple. If you have any plant recommendations, Please let me know too. Fourth, paper lamps. One point of a fashionable room is to create a shade of light. By using the indirect lighting from lamps, different shades of lighting can be created, thus giving a room more warmth when illuminated. So for me, indirect lighting is also an indispensable quality for a happy room. Recently, I've been using the Japanese paper lamp made by Isamu Noguchi, who is a Japanese-American artist. It's fun to use this light before I sleep and read books. Plus, it's very light 
and doesn't take up much space when disassembled. Fifth, bamboo bike. This bike has become a best friend that I've traveled around the world with. The frame of this bamboo bike is made of bamboo, and traditional Japanese technique such as urushi nuri, which is Japanese lacquer, are used. My friend in Osaka, Mr. Gerson Aizawa, made it in order and made it all by hand. The bike itself is a work of art, so it's perfect for the room. Not only that, every time I see this bike during a difficult time, it helps me think, I've overcome such a difficult journey, so it's okay no matter what happens, and gives me confidence. I can say that it's the most indispensable thing in my room. Sixth, essential oils. I used to think that I didn't need essential oils, but I found that Having them would make my life 100 times more enjoyable. The scent makes the room a type of healing space, and I tend to look forward to returning to my room each day. Recently, I've been so addicted to the Tadaima's wood dish. I just need a few drops of essential oil in the dish, and soon my room smells heavenly. The dish is made out of camphor trees. I like it because it's very minimal and eco-friendly without using fire or electricity. So like many people ask me about it, but I couldn't find that on Amazon. So I hope you can buy similar product in your country, if you want. Seventh, candle. Occasionally, I light this candle before going to bed at night. Don't you think it's super relaxing as you gaze into a campfire while thinking about nothing? Me too. I think the campfire fire has a tremendous relaxing effect. But you can't do campfire in your room, right? So this candle is kind of small campfire for me. When you're anxious or stressed, staring at this fire will help alleviate all of that. This fire is an integral part of my room and nightly routine. Summary. So today I've told you 7 things in my room that make me happy. What did you think? If you like what I've introduced today and want to incorporate it into your life, I'm very happy. I'll continue to think about various ways to continue making my room a happier space. What things in your room make you happy? Let me know in the comments, I'd also like to check it out. So stay safe, have fun, and thank you for watching as usual. I hope to see you in the next video. Bye-bye!